Uh, one of the things we need to understand is, uh, is our definition for roles, because it's like the air we breathe and we take it for granted. We've all got roles in this room and we've acquired them with just a little bit of nudging, perhaps from others, you know, grandparents that said, you know, you're really good at that. And it kind of gives you an idea that, you know, maybe I'll pursue that, you know. And so we get these little nudges in certain directions. But for the people that we know and support, it may mean that we have to have a great deal more knowledge about how roles work if we're going to assist them to acquire these things and bring about the effects that we want. And you might say, well, why should roles be so important? And so we have this uh, empirical statement that uh, social role valorization is based on this connection between the roles you have and the life you end up leading. And it's like if you don't get the roles, you don't get the life. And so this being entirely descriptive here, you can see from this statement that this isn't a philosophy. Uh, this isn't like we want the world to operate this way. It's a description of the way the world does operate in a probabilistic nature.